Downtown Fort Lauderdale. It's a beautiful city with vibrant, sophisticated office towers, rich cultural offerings, an exciting variety of urban living options, and one of the most charming shopping districts of any downtown. In many ways, Fort Lauderdale has maintained its quaint atmosphere. Yet, over the past decade, we've all seen our downtown growing up, striving to achieve that next level to make it a true world-class city. Those who live or work in downtown have seen progress, but there is far to go, especially in the area of transportation. The challenge of living downtown is, is definitely traffic. Um, moving in and out, particularly at the rush hour time, I just see a need for uh, better public transportation than we have now. I'm a business owner in the downtown. I have different restaurants that are located in the downtown. I have employees that, that currently work for me. They park anywhere between eight and 10 blocks away because the parking is you know, an eighth of the price and they walk in to work. It is imperative that as a city, we take a step now to support our residents, our workforce, and our visitors with improved options and invest in our future as a world-class city. There is a solution in sight, the way. After years of planning, Fort Lauderdale is on track to join environmentally friendly cities like Portland, Seattle, and Tampa with our own fixed rail downtown electric streetcar system, the WAVE. Broward County took a very important step early on and committed to be the owner operator for 20 years. And in April 2008, the Fort Lauderdale City Commission committed to help fund the system and select an initial route with hope that the system would be in place by 2012. The WAVE will provide a reliable and fun way to move around downtown without a car. And since it won't rely on fossil fuels, it helps us create a greener downtown, reducing carbon emissions. I think the electric streetcar solution will be a great solution. The fact that it will be a silent and it will be eco-friendly. And so um, it's also in a very good location. So I think we're gonna have a lot of people that will use it once the system is up and running. Sharing lanes with vehicles, the streetcars will move to and from attractive, well-lit stations. Convenient kiosks will inform riders when the next streetcar vehicle will be arriving at the station. Along with all the other benefits of this system, will come major streetscape improvements and an intelligent transportation system to synchronize traffic lights, making all traffic flow smoother and maintain the 7.5 minute headways during peak hours. The WAVE is designed as both a transit circulator for Broward's downtown and as a critical eastern anchor in the county's existing and future public transit network, a network that must evolve over the upcoming years step by step if we are to provide a sustainable and functional living environment for future generations. The WAVE will complement future large-scale east-west and FEC transit projects with a fast and convenient way to move around downtown government and business centers, as well as our county's largest public hospital. Uh, what's very exciting about this project is it's part of the regional transit system. Part of our goal to improve congestion in the South Florida area and the role of this project is to move people around downtown Fort Lauderdale. What we're looking to do is develop an interconnected transit system, uh, one that would circulate around downtown Fort Lauderdale and then connecting to a regional transit network. Across the nation, the facts are clear. It's unlikely the fuel cost will drop significantly our future must include viable public transit options. And already in 2008, the trend has shown ridership of public transit increasing rapidly. It's estimated that thousands of people will ride the wave, and all studies indicate that ridership levels will consistently increase over the years. Fortunately, we have clear-cut evidence from a similar system put in place in Portland, Oregon.
It is perhaps only once a decade we have an opportunity to make bold moves that can lead to greatness for our community. Investing in the Broward Center for the Performing Arts and the Riverwalk are prime examples of amenities that have helped shape our downtown. Transit is the next big step for our evolution. Federal and state funds are available to finance most of the 150 million streetcar system. Well, what's exciting about this project is, uh, compared to the other projects that we're looking at in the county, this one is somewhat affordable, $150 million. Now that sounds like a lot of money, but uh, this is a partnership, a partnership with the city, the county, the state, and the federal government. The federal government would pay 50%, the state would pay 25%, leaving 25% for the locals. It's about $37.5 million. Broward County has come to the plate and said that they would come up with the funds to operate and maintain the system. And that's very exciting. The WAVE is a unique partnership between federal and state governments, the county, the city, the DDA, and the downtown residential and business community. The leadership role these local agencies are taking shows an incredible amount of responsibility at just the right time. I would like Fort Lauderdale to be the icon of how a system can work. You see it in Portland, you see it in San Francisco, you see it in other areas around the country, and you've seen the economic impact. It, quite frankly, I think we're going to get here eventually anyway, okay? Either we take the road now and be leaders and at, at, at a much more cost-effective way, or at the very end of the day, we're going to be here spending more money, more dollars. We need a place to begin, and this is the beginning, and it has all potential to expand out to the rest of the county, to our airport, uh, to, our, to the west of Broward, and to the beach. And it will then uh, make a wonderful connection here in downtown Fort Lauderdale for the whole county. Join the wave. Help improve our quality of life, the environment, and provide a boost to Broward's economy at just the right time.